in this series of radicals we are going to do a couple of videos that this is the first one square root is the very basic radical uh, now what is a square root we know square of function right if I do 2 times 2 you get 4 square root gives the reverse thing square root is written like this square root of 4 is equals to 2 when we are to get reverse of this then we use square root so that is how it has been defined so we say 3 times 3 equals to 9 so square root of 9 is equal to 3 similarly you can do 10 times 10 is equals to 100 so square root of 100 is 10 so one way to define square root is that square root is one of the two equal factors of a number one of the two we say square root is one of the two equal factors of a number so like let's go back now we say what are the factors of 100 there are many factors we could have 25 times 2 4 50 times 2 well they are not equal but 10 times 10 both the numbers are equal so when we have a factor where the two are equal when multiplied gives you the product then one of those factors is the square root of the number I think you try, try to understand see it like this now once again let's do 5 times 5 so 5 and 5 are factors of 25 both are equal so the statement is one of the two equal factors do you understand so we'll take only one of them and that will be square root one of the two equal factors of a number is square root okay of the number so what is square root of 25 we'll say square root of 25 is equal to 5 one of the two you can pick any one of them this is the basic definition of square root I hope you understand it's absolutely clear to you okay I will do some more examples how does it matter let's say now what is the square root of 16 way to do is to find two factors which are equal we know 2 times 8 is 16 well but 2 and 8 are not equal 4 times 4 is 16 4 times 4 is 16 so I can write 16 as 4 times 4 now square root of this is one of the two equal factors so I can write this equal to 4 so square root of 16 is 4 this is one way of writing do you get it okay let's try once more let's go for number a big number 144 144 is 12 times 12 okay sometimes we can write this 12 times 12 also as 12 square 12 times 12 12 square okay one of the two factors is the number 12 which becomes the square root of 144 this is another way of representing the same thing correct either way you work you may say 8 times 8 equals to 64 you can go like this 8 times 8 so these two are equal factors of 64 therefore square root of 64 is equal to 8 so this is another way of looking at it. Do, you, do you understand now the definition and the concept of square root I think you do correct try out these things uh, what is now try these questions what is square root of number 49 can you tell me what times what is 49 I think 7 times 7 is 49 and therefore square root of 49 is number 7 how about square root of 36 square root 36 is 4 times 9 is 36 no that doesn't work 6 times 6 so it is number 6 
like this we can practice and square root of 81 is 81 is like 9 times 9 is 81 okay 9 so this is this is square root okay that is how we find square root and these are our radical numbers okay radical values may have n degrees but we are not getting there today today we are only talking about square root and the way to represent square root is with this kind of a sign that is the square root side okay so this much is enough to know for today. Now let's do some more problems regarding square root. So I will do now how to simplify a square root. We can in general say simplify radicals. Okay. Right. So in this today's uh, video. Whenever I say radicals, it will mean square root for us, okay? So remember that. Now, let's say those were easy, right? We had a perfect number and we did get a square root. Now, we will take some more examples where uh, there could be more multiples, right? For example, square root of 27 is what? Now, there are no two numbers which when multiplied and which are equal uh, will give us 27. But we know what is 27. 27 can be 9 times 3, right? 9 times 3. Now this dot which I am putting is actually a multiplication sign. It should be read as 9 times 3, okay? Now what is 9? I can write 9 as 3 times 3 and then we have 3 here, 3, okay? Now we have read just now, we understood that if two numbers, two same factors are there, then square root of those numbers is one of them. So we'll combine these two threes okay and then write this as we'll bring it out of square root square root of three times three within square root is the number three and we are left with one square root three inside so we see square root of 27 can be written as three square root three do you get let's do one more question okay let's do another one let's say 32 32 could be written as square root of 2 times 16. And we know 16 is a perfect square. Yes, 4 times 4 is 16. So I can write this as 2 times even 4 square. 2 4, right? 4 times 4. And when we have two equal factors, then one of them can be taken out of the square root. And we can write this as 4 square root 2. Do you understand? This is the way we can do. Here, you must have noticed that we can actually multiply them and I'll show you this here. Let's go back to another example. Let's say we have square root of 50. 50, 50 you know can be written as square root 2 times square root 25. This time, I didn't write both under one square root. You can write it like this also. It means like this. Do you understand? Now here, 2 is like this. It doesn't have two equal factors. But 25 has. And what 25 can be written as? 5 times 5. And you know square root? Two equal factors. One of them can be brought out. And we say 5 square root 2 is simplified form of square root 50. Do you understand the concept? This is the concept. So we have to split a number so that we get 1 as a perfect square. Now try it with this. Square root of 20. 20 can be written as 4 times 5. Is it okay? 4 times 5. I'm just mixing matching for you so that you should have liberty to write in either form. Okay. Now here we know 4 is a perfect square. 2 times 2 is 4. So we can straight away write 2 outside. Let's say 2 square root 5. So we can avoid this step and write like this. Because square root of 4 is 2. Do you get it? Because 2 times 2 is 4. So like this, we can simplify the square root. Okay. Now, you know, we have worked so much. Is there any use of this? Well, there are a lot of applications where we use square root. Okay. Now, for example, let's take a square 
let's say the sides of the square are 5 then what is the area area is 5 times 5 25 correct so the area is 25 now the question is let's see the question question 1 if area of square is 25 meter square let us say then what is side length or length of a side okay so you saw side length is square root of 25 5 right we what we did here 5 times 5 equals to 25 so that's the area to find a side we do square root of 25 and one of the factors so we did square root of 25 is equal to 5 we write like this area equals to side square so what is the length of the side send the length of the side will be square root of a now what is a a is 25 correct so we we'll say side equals to square root of 25 for given problem and what is 25 equals to just 5 and unit says meter square so that's how we can solve a problem do you see knowing the area of our square we could find the sides of the square this is a very common application which we use the square root for now this is a very thinking problem for you which you may try to do so what is the side length for a cube with surface area of let's say 16 centimeter square now, this is not that simple now, we are talking about three dimensional figure right what is the side length of a cube with surface area of 16 centimeter square Hmm. Now think about it. So make a 3D figure in your mind so that you understand what we are really talking about. Think like this, right? So we have a cube here. Do you see that? Like a dice. This is a small centimeter, right? Think like this. Maybe. Ah. Let's say something like this. Now your problem is what is the side length? Each side length they are all equal right you have to find what is the side length for this cube whose surface area is given as 16 centimeters square okay try to do that i hope you understand today what is square root how it is applied how to find square root of a number and how to simplify expressions with square root square root is a form of radical we haven't really gone into details of radical but trying to understand what square root is there will be a couple of lectures and videos which will make this point very clear to you soon. Okay? First, enjoy this. Try to work out the problem given to you. And then, we'll see you in the next video. Okay? Thank you.